Okay, my name is Daniel Matthews. I'm the Deputy Director of the Law and Literary Studies Program here at Hong Kong U. The, this is a double degree program, so students will leave with a degree in law and a degree in literary studies. It gives students a full range of options to uh, explore uh, literature and the arts, as well as getting a qualifying law degree to go on to uh, professional practice if that's what they wish to do. One of the unique things about the program is that we also draw together these two aspects of law and literary studies in a series of interdisciplinary courses. So these give students an opportunity to explore the ways in which law and literary studies complement each other. One of the ways in which this happens, one of the ways we explore this in these courses, is to think about the way in which the law is primarily a textual phenomenon or a textual medium. Laws are written down and need to be interpreted. So the skills that we learn and develop as literary studies students in terms of interpreting text, interpreting poetry or novels, these skills are precisely applicable when we become, when we turn to interpreting the law. So what seems to be at the beginning of the program, I think for many students, quite distinct or disparate areas of study, very quickly become, it becomes clear that there is a great deal of complementarity between law and, the, and literary studies. Thinking about that connection in a slightly different way, um, we can also reflect on the fact that broad themes in the law, whether it's the nature of justice, the nature of rights and obligations, the tension between a legal duty and a moral duty. These kinds of questions are absolutely central to the history of literature and to contemporary popular culture. Every movie that you've watched that deals with the question of revenge versus a proper application of legal procedure, or every novel that you've read in which a character breaks the law in order to do something good, these kinds of questions are central to the life of cultural practices and artistic practices. So we can think about these, these uh, as resources through which we can explore uh, the law and ask these broad legal questions. I think one of the things that's really exciting about the program is that it situates the law in a broad social, political and cultural context. I think when students complete the course of study, they don't think about the law purely as a set of abstract rules that can be applied in quite circumscribed circumstances, but they think about law as an essential aspect of the social and cultural life of a community. One of the benefits of the program, I think, is that it equips students with the skill to think contextually and from a multitude of perspectives about a single about single issues. One of the things that we do in the interdisciplinary courses but that draw together law and literary studies is to think about a single cultural, social or political problem from a number of different perspectives. We might think about how, for example, the judges or legislators have dealt with a particular issue but, this, but also explore how an artist or a novelist has explored that same issue from a very different point of view. Similarly, we might draw on um, theoretical or philosophical material in order to explore this issue from an alternative perspective. So I think thinking contextually in this way, thinking about how a single problem can be approached from a number of different points of view is one of the key skills that we develop through our interdisciplinary teaching. I think the, the course is, uh, will be attractive to any student that is interested to broaden their horizons, learn more about the history of literature, the history of culture, but also wants to pursue a professional qualifying law degree and move on to practice uh, in the future. It also gives students great opportunities to um, apply the knowledge that they've learned in legal training in other areas too, working in uh, the third sector, in NGOs for example, or uh, for the government, or in uh, journalism, or other areas. I think, um, finally, all I'd say is that uh, we're really excited about the course. Um, we're really proud of the courses that we've developed, and we're really excited by the conversations that we have with our students about the cultural life of law. The course, I think, equips students with the ability to think critically and creatively about the law and legal institutions, and uh, we look forward to welcoming you.